So, can Luminar 4 make HDR photography? The short answer is no. But the reason is quite simple. It's because Kylum, the company that made Luminar 4, also make Aurora HDR, which is, as we will see in the next seconds, about the same as Luminar 4, except it does HDR. So, let's go through that Aurora HDR application and select the photo we would like to uh, make. So right here I've got 10 HDR uh, bracketing pictures. So let's take my HDR 10 and just drag it into the application. And as you can see, it now detects that this is one picture. I've got my uh, 0, plus 2, and minus 2. Uh, I'm going to select the auto alignment button and I will create HDR and wait for a few seconds. So just right here, uh, uh, I already combined my three pictures. I've got this result. And underneath that, like in Luminar 4, we've got some preset. So uh, let's say I'm going to go in the essential. We've got the natural look, the vivid look, the detail look, uh, the bright sun look, the glowing deep HDR look, HDR look 2, tonal compression. Uh, we've got some landscape preset, realistic landscape, and then landscape bright landscape, warm landscape, and you've got a plenty of uh, look, which are some kind of preset. And you can also uh, record your own preset when you modify something. Uh, speaking of modify, we've got this uh, tool just right here. Uh, we've got a bunch of tools to modify the picture. So would, would you like to uh, change the temperature, change the tint, uh, change the exposure, change the contrast, smart tone, which is kind of great because like the name is says, uh, it is a smart tone. So it's going to select what you will probably want to. I like the most like that. Pretty awesome. Uh, so yeah, uh, you can also go with the highlight, the shadow, the whites, or the blacks. So that that's what it is really awesome. It really detect what part of the image are white, black, shadows, highlights. Uh, you can go in saturation, vibrance color contrast, HDR cl clarity. So yeah, you've got plenty, plenty of options. Uh, you want to play in details? That is too much. Um, you want to play with uh, colors? color saturation so you want to play with the red on or orange yeah feels like autumn too much <laughs> you want to play with yellow you want to play with green blue so yeah you, you've got all those options so if you would like to apply that to plenty of other uh, HDR picture. So if you were, I don't know, uh, time lapsing HDR, well, you can save as Aurora HDR. And let's, we're gonna call that one how to one and create a new Aurora HDR look. And as you can see, I already had created that one. And this is the how to one. So next time, if you would like to send that preset to something else, you can do it. Or you can just now export your picture in JPEG, PNG, TIFF, or PDF, Photoshop, whatever you want, and save it and you've got your picture. That's it.
Now if you would like to start a patch with that preset, I invite you to take a look at the video in the upper right corner, and if you consider to purchase Aurora HDR or Luminar 4 or any Skyloom software, please take a look at my affiliate link in the description, I've got a discount for you. So this is it, thank you for watching, I hope it helps, if yes please make a thumbs up, if you have any questions please ask in the comment below, I may simply answer you or even maybe make a video just for you. So don't forget to subscribe and what you do see back there it's from my main channel, so please come take a look at this right there. Thank you for watching again, see ya!